Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute. In today's video, we are taking up another type of metrics which is called nilpotent metrics. What do you mean by that? So when there is a square matrix, you know square matrix? Having same order, be it 2 by 2 or 3 by 3. So if there is a square matrix such that the product of the matrix with itself is equal to null matrix. What does it mean? Let's say if you have A and if you multiply it with itself, if you get 0. So that means A square is equal to 0. So that 2 will be considered as nil potency index. That means after how many multiplication have you got this 0? 2. 2 times. So let's say, let's say this example 0, 0, 0, 0 and all these elements. So you have to find out that where this nil potency index can come. So if you multiply this with itself 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. Multiply Multiply it with itself. What will you get? So first row, first column. So 0 and all the elements are 0. First row, second column. All the elements are 0. First row, third column. 3 to the 6. You get 6 here. First row, fourth column. So 3 to the 6. And 3 to the 6. So 6 and 6, 12. Then second row, first column. All zeros. Second row, second column. All zeros. Let's write down. Second row, third column. 0, 0, right. Second row, fourth column. So this 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Third row, first column. All zeros. Third row, second column, all zeros. Third row, third column, all zeros. Then third row, fourth column, all zeros, right? Then fourth row, because four, every element of fourth row is zero, so it will also be zero. But this is not a null matrix, right? Because the definition of nil potency is when you multiply the matrix by itself, it should be a null matrix. That means all the elements will be or should be or must be zero. But no, this is not coming up as zero. So that means two is not the nil potency index. We have to multiply it with by itself further. So that means a cube, a square into a. So that means zero, 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 which we just found out. Six, zero, zero, zero. 12, 6, 0, 0. Multiply, multiply by 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. Correct? Okay, multiply it. So this gives you 0 because every element of this element is, uh, this column is 0. Then first row, second column, this is 0, okay? 0 times 3 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, everything is 0. First row, third column, 6 zeros are 0, 12 zeros are 0, yes. Th first row, fourth column, so this will be 12, see, this is third, first row, fourth column, so 0, 1 is 0, 0, 2 is 0, 6, 3 is 18, 12 zeros are 0, so 18, then, Second row, first column, everything will be zero. Second row, second column, zero. Second row, third column, zero. Second row, fourth column, zero times zero, everything is zero. Okay. Because third and fourth column, uh, I mean rows here, has zero. So it will give you zero only. Again, this has non-zero element. So three is also not... Um, the nil potency index. Now again find out a raised to power 4. That means a cube into a. So that means all zeros here 
what is a cube 18 0 0 0 and this is a 0 3 0 0 0 2 0 9 2 2 0 0 1 2 3 0 right now see these elements will give you 0 only in the multiplication talk about this 18 so if you do first row with uh, first row first column 0 first row second column 0 first row third column 0 first row fourth column 0 rest all 0 so yes this is give, giving you null matrix so 4 a4 is the nil potent matrix and 4 is the nil potency index where you are getting I mean the number of times and a matrix is getting multiplied by itself so as to get 0 I'm hoping you got this add a nil potent matrix right